briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2017, Sarah Palin filed a defamation lawsuit against the New York Times in the United States District Court for the Southern District of New York. The suit was based on articles published by the Times, linking Palin's political action committee's map to the shooting of Representative Gabby Giffords. In order to win a defamation lawsuit, a person must prove that the statement was false, that the speaker knew it was false, or acted with reckless disregard for the truth and suffered harm as a result. A court-ordered hearing was held to determine if the articles were defamatory, but Palin failed to prove that the New York Times had acted intentionally or with reckless disregard for the truth. The court emphasized that public figures must have a plausible factual basis to bring a lawsuit for defamation, and that legal action by public figures must be limited to cases where the mistake was made maliciously. The court ultimately dismissed Palin's complaint due to her insufficient evidence of actual malice and granted the defendant's motion to dismiss with prejudice. This means the dismissal was final and Palin could not file another complaint on the same grounds. The court acknowledged the importance of free and robust political journalism in the United States, but maintained that legal action by public figures in defamation cases should only be for instances where errors were made maliciously. So much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.